So then, Donna Kamada. My name is Sage Blake. I'm a wanderer, storyteller, artist, and mature. And we are back with more, uh, well, Sage After Live. For those unfamiliar, Sage After Live is essentially an extended after coverage series for the Sonic and Amateur Games Expo of the prior year. The only difference being, this time around, it focuses more on, well, being live, showing games in a live format, and at that also chatting with people, seeing what they think, seeing what random strangers think about these games too, because I don't know about you, but me personally, I don't trust my voice. So I figure the most I could do in this type of situation is try to show as many games as possible, try to show them as well as possible, and not just give my opinions, but also see what other people have to say about them as well. Because, well, as I've already mentioned, I don't 100% trust my own words. Such I feel like that's a decent mindset, all things considered. It helps me from being... It helps keep me from being too, uh... Self-centered and... Self-focused. And I just realized that... The feed may need to be fixed slightly because... There are some stray pixels on the sides. Get rid of those. Okay, and just double check the volume mixing, it seems to be fine. Well, for this game at least. So to start things off, we have Frogan, or Frogan. Probably Frogan. If you want a hyper laconic saying for this game, uh, this is not... Hold on. What the hell? Unplug, replug? What is that? Answer, not much. So, no controller. <laughs> That's a little disappointing. <laughs> but yeah, if I remember correctly, that is a fairly common issue. For whatever reason, this game just sometimes hates control. But hey, what can you do? In terms of this... Yeah. Right, I was gonna say. The hyper laconic for this game is... Chameleon twist with a twist. Our main character here, Renata, is a little girl whose parents are researching some ancient ruins and what have you, and then they suddenly disappear, leaving the little girl to fend for herself with the help of an ancient artifact known as the Froga, which can apparently talk to her. Hello there, Daniel. How's it going? A while since we last talked, huh? I will take some fault on that. I'm sorry. Just <sighs> this entire week, and hell, the next week coming up too, is has been stupid busy. As in, like working every single day type busy, except for Sundays because that's the only day my test center is open, and I can't move. I can't move! <laughs> I got the glitch! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I break games without even trying. <laughs> I break games without even trying. What is my cancer? Oh my... Fucking gods. Alright. 
try this again, and it's <laughs> it's still up 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 down down left right left right B A start up. I understand this is an issue on the game. What? Let's try opening up a different file just to test on there. And worst case scenario, if it does the same thing again, I hope it won't. Then I guess I'm just gonna have to like do some extra fixing past. Worst case scenario, I could probably like look up a little bit of information. But yeah, I recognize I started streaming today, like, 10, 12 minutes earlier than usual. Again, the reason on that is this week and the next week are both incredibly busy weeks, and that means working most of the week. Hell, I haven't had time to record a proper Sage After video this week, and I probably won't next week either, specifically because of just how much, of just how much, how many days I'm working each day. What? Try again, man. The next week, it's, I'm working six days. Hey! The only day off I'd have is Sunday, and each and every day it's, like, at most six hours. That essentially means I have no time to record, I have no time to draw, bare well, actually barely any time to draw, if anything. And on top of that, I still need to update, uh, Remem, such I might- okay, this is just a permanent issue. I usually work. One is it ten thousand six hundred and seventy-five days per day? Yes. Daniel gets it. <laughs> uh. Just want to double check on that level select bug quick, but. The TLDR of the matter is, I'm working a lot of days, and it's dull work, it just literally just soaks up my time, and I've got no time to do anything else. And I'm a very busy soul, unfortunately, so... Egh. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on with okay. Because I could have sworn I downloaded the most up-to-date version. Okay, you know what? Temporarily delay Frogun. Unfortunately. It looks really nice, it plays nice, just... That one bug is... being frustrating, and... Unfortunately... I'm on a time crunch of three hours, so at least for now... Gotta temporarily move to something else. Post-production Blake here, back with Frogun, because I finally got the dadgum thing working. As it turns out, I essentially had to... Okay, so what I did was I reinstalled the entire thing and started everything in a separate file from the first file, and it worked. I don't know what the issue is. If I figure it out, I'll probably leave an annotation, but in the meantime, we can actually play the other levels. And on that subject, we can also go into a few details about the game itself and its generalities. So far. So every single level within this now, within this game, has a bunch of different objectives that you can complete. There's a speed trial for clearing the game quickly. There's a trial for collecting the bits of the expedition diary. There's a trial for collecting all the eyeballs. Yes, that's the 
Oh, no, sorry. That's the insistent name of them. And lastly, there is a trial for collecting all the coins. There's also a trial for the amount of hits that you suffer. That should be at zero. Pretty much, this is a game you're meant to be playing multiple times over. Don't expect to be good at every single level that you play on the first attempt. I'm gonna try for the speed trials, but I make no guarantees. Because I happen to be a fairly fidgety gamer, all things considered. My reactions are really, really good, and to the point that... I, more often than not, preface my reactions more than I actually react to things. Oh, come on. I at least want to get all the, uh, coins in this round, but we'll see. Whew, that's a big amount. And I saw a flag over here. Let's assume that to be a check. Oh good, crumble oil. There's a crumble platforms. Donk. And of course there are coins within that. And tether. Good so far. Bonk this. I'm also playing this on a new keyboard. Like, recently, I started realizing that my old keyboard was starting to crap out on me. A key was being especially glitchy. So I figure, yeah, let's break bank, actually invest in something better. And, I gotta say, new keyboard's working really well. A little bit clicky, a little bit too clicky, so... If there ends up being a little more excess click chatter from keys in the background, my apologies, now you know the reason why. It's a uh, mechanical keyboard with some fairly good switches. It's inevitable. Because, well, again, I've been playing more and more games on PC lately, so at some point I am gonna need something that can actually take my abuse. And besides that, durability is a big thing with me in terms of my equipment. If I'm going to be using something, I would rather be able to take a bit of wear and tear and abuse, because, let's face it, I'm a very klutzy person. Okay, mix of klutzy and unlucky. It's pretty much inevitable that whatever I use or have is going to suffer some weird damage for no good reason. Donk. Donk. Hmm. What happened there? What? Noted. Slopes will be a hindrance. And let's see if I can... I think I can let me tether over there. Really? Really? You gonna douche me like that game? What? Lock his handles. Okay. Good to know. Donk. Ew, that looks like a hard time roll to get. Actually, no, never mind. Not gonna be that hard. One done? Maybe. Because I don't think I can make that jump. Although... I could just tether over. Well, you... Alright. Now how to get that. Answer. Narrow jump. Boogity. Okay. 
think I can grip that. Perfect. Now that I'm always, uh, a little out of the way. Hey. Ow. Of course. Uh, let's see. I hey. might... Ow. I might be able to tether over to that? I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like a, you can barely do that. Oh, no, wait. There's a platform down there. Simple. Doi. Look at that. Good boy. Get moving. Excellent. And that takes care of the other eye roll. Now for the dulcet tones of progress. You can do quite a bit in terms of, like, speedrunning and whatnot with this game. Specifically by jumping and doing some tricky gripping. Unfortunately, I'm not all too confident in that, but we'll see. Good jumps. Page, donk you, and take the Good so far. Hey. Oh, yeah, of course. And second area. these bricks here. And the look of it, I'll need to be especially quick in order to... Actually, you might not be. Because you might not need to be stupid quick to get over there. Because something I can do... is that. Yeah, I need to be quicker. This is definitely doable. There we go. See? Easy. Bonk. Get these coins. Ooh, one more. I don't like the look of these platforming. Hey! Rude. Hey! I don't care. Made it to the end, got all the coins. We're good. We're good. Maybe two more stages until the end, after this one? This is a fairly meaty demo, all things considered. Huh. That was close. And by the look of it, I'm gonna need to find a switch pad. Oh good. Rocks. Really, game? I couldn't tell. But with all the giant rocks coming out of the woodwork. Yeah, I was too funny. Better. Don't you. Goodbye. You could totally get back there. I knew it. How about? Answer. Hmm. Interesting. Oh no, wait. Maybe you don't need a secret passage after all. Doi. You got the frogun. But is it that I could tell the frogun seems to be able to grip things up to four tiles away. That's an approximation. How? Ah! What? <laughs> she looks so happy in the water! 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Rinse. Because all in all, this doesn't seem too terribly taxing. Donk. <laughs> that moment when you decide to turn up your DPI because uh, the camera's not moving all quickly when you adjust the mouse. Ah, uh, modular DPI mouse. Love you. My apologies if this uh, might end up looking a little busy to look at. I... I'm weird in that I like a fairly sensitive DPI for my mouse. Specifically because I do a lot of... Uh, checking my corners and general paying attention to things in my surroundings. Even if it's fluff. There we go. Now don't fall into the water, me, because evidently, uh, MC cannot swim. Huzzah! Whee! She can, however, survive falling a long distance. Heck, why did I think that was a good idea? What? Excuse me, game? Uh, okay. Careful. Yeah, by the look of it, I'm gonna need to do some clever jumping. That is worrying. How to get those coins? Answer. Jumped way too early. Damn it. Hey. Rude. I really need to get the hang of the jumping. Maybe by having the camera be like this be at an angle like this, I can time it a little better. Hey. Really? At least I made it that time. Now I can enjoy the spoils of the checkpoints. Yay! I already know about tip tethering things from a distance. That looks a little leap of faith. Made it. Hey. Good. Really? Okay, at least keep my coins. That's good. How? <laughs> Me. You're supposed to tether. You have a tether for a reason. One, go. Okay, so where am I supposed to land that safe right over there? The lily pads? Maybe. Excellent. <laughs> Good. Yeah, the lily pads. Ah! <laughs> of course, the lily pads aren't going to stick around for long, with me. It's like you're uh, putting a giant, you're putting a kid on. Doi. Get moving. They are soft platforms. Oh, that is douche. Made it. Donk. So far, so good. Whoop. And donk. Donk. Good so far. Wait. Now we can do that. Rat. You 
go away. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, wasn't that working? Split for a bit, I found a strange area. At the first sight, it looks like a series of stone canals. Transport water from one tower to another. Full traps. Place dimension A to be well. Krogan. Signed, Lily Hop. The puns. Lily Hops. Mmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. What the hell? Okay, so in other words, pick up these coins, then double back. This looks a little curious. Good. Excellent! And the Emerald is right there. Get so far. Let's like this a little room. Pull this box. Good to know. But yeah, something I didn't really use in the original Sage After Live. You can, in fact, lock yourself in place to make tethering bricks and what have you a little easier. Speedrunners don't really use it all that often, because, again, if you're really good, then you could pretty much just have a really high DPI, wheel around, and quick grip what you need to quick grip. But if you're ever having a bit of a tricky issue trying to aim yourself, then feel free to lock your position. Makes it a whole lot easier. And the last coin should be right there. Perfect. All coins collected. I missed an emerald? Oh, son of a... Okay, we're going back to look for it. Where was it? Okay, I guess it's down here. I'm sure there's a button that does something with me somewhere. Yeah, doy. Where exactly? I'm not seeing anything. Maybe I just need to look in the right place. It couldn't possibly be past here, could it? I'm not seeing anything that looks like a switch around here. Maybe over here? No. Where the heck? You definitely aren't a switch. There definitely isn't a switch down there that I can tell. Really? So weird. Oh, that's the switch. Doi. Done. Now to complete the stage with the other eye roll. Because I think you need to get both of them in a single run. I might be wrong on that one. If I am, my apologies. I need to recover HP. Is it certain that coins? Nope. Checkpoints restored, that's for certain. Nah. <laughs> of course. 
But yeah, one thing I can knock this game for, though, it's definitely an intentional design decision. You're really slow. Again, it makes sense, considering the character you're controlling is meant to be a little kid. Of course, they're not going to be moving at the fastest speed in the world. But at the same right... This is a really slow and plotting pace. Oh. <laughs> Good to know I can grip that. Hmm. I wonder if I can turn in the opposite direction. After, you know, gripping it. Something to experiment with. Oh. Ah! You don't tether to those you hold them. Me. Try again. This time, hopefully, with a little less barrier. Donk. Oh. That wasn't... I guess this is also, in some respect, a little uh, extra practice for speedrun. We should be good, right? Nope, you gotta get both Emeralds in Samurai. Damn. But I at least showed where the other Emerald is. So that's something at least. And... This stage. Next. The second to last stage of this demo is a race. Well, quote-unquote race. Essentially, there's another person that you're that is going to be around, and you're you're going to be competing with them fairly often. What the hell? What the heck? Okay. They have the same abilities you do, only they use a, a snake gun. Snatch. Your objective is to race them to goal. They move at the same speed you do, they have comparable abilities. The only difference is, they deal contact damage. Rude! Woogity. hit by something, he gets staggered, so use that to your advantage to try and take hey. him. What? And he gets staggered for quite a while, too. How? What? I... <laughs> that was some weird logging. I I was sure I was facing something else. At that, how do you get up there? Hey. How? Rick, uh, what? He pushed me off! A little jerk. Okay, that's it. That's it. I want to race this guy. I want to race this guy properly. Restart. Skip through this as quickly as possible. What? You gotta be kidding me. I hate this little punk. More specifically, I hate that stupid... Wait, hold on, hold on. I just thought of something. Remove auto-aim. Let's see how much that changes. The auto-aim is mostly meant for controllers, for additional support there. You don't necessarily have to have it. Good. 
grip. Good. Good. Woo! Clean. That's totally how you do the speed run, isn't it? I want to do this proper. I want to do this proper now. I'll get all the coins later. Because that's some tricky platforming you can do there. How? I- I hit the- I hit the button! What the hell? Why didn't it let me? That's so frustrating. How? I- Come on, it happened again. I guess there's just a weird death plane around there. That's really annoying. And if anything, it's deleterious to speedrun. Maybe there's another trick I can perform. That isn't so finicky. Review. Ah, uh, nope. I wonder. How? Nope. There's funky death planes around there, too. Because seriously, it totally looks like you should be able to jump off the side there and still be able to drift the thing over there. Just saying. Hey! Back. Good. What?! Excuse me? I feel like I got ripped off. That's supposed to be a spring- That's supposed to be a spring, isn't it? I totally gripped that. Editing me. You know what to do. I totally gripped that spring, didn't I? At this point, I'm just being stubborn. I could just easily complete the stage as it is, but I want to outrace this guy and flaunt it. Yeah, that's a bad decision. Wait. Did he just... He fell off the level. Excuse me? Did he just fall off the level? Uh... I guess I can take my time now! Uh, thanks, game! Pretty much just spitting in my face and saying, No, you're t you're playing this the intended way, and this is your incentive to actually get all the coins instead. Thanks. I hate you too. Of course. The I'm right there. This music is going hard. I like it. Three. Wait for it, and jump one, jump two. Easy. Easy 
Nani. Uh, I don't know what happened there. He's just stuck in the void. He's just stuck in the void. <laughs> I'm absolutely lost. Went from the bottom of the creek to the top of the ruins after a short haul. It makes no sense. It reeks of black magic. And now I gotta go through the through the course legitimately again to bank all the money I grabbed. Actually, if anything, I missed some coins apparently. Maybe around this path. Woo! Woo! That's only one. Okay, three, fourteen, three more. I seriously missed those two. Lark. Oh well, we've got all the money, all the emeralds. Which means I'll have nothing to worry about in the next go. Pretty much just focus on the speed running piece. Yeah, it's totally just faster to do that, isn't it? How? What? That totally doesn't piss me off. Wiggity 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 wiggity. Yeah, I almost don't want to risk it there. The last two coins are up there. God. Right side, tricky platform. All problems can be solved with tricky platforming. How? I t up. <sighs> Again, I would like to point out, I totally gripped what I'm supposed to be gripping and ripping. So why is it less? Ripping and ripping and more flying and dying. That time it worked. So what gives? Done. That's annoying. 